Hello guys, this is Ratu498 and this is a uh, 1v1 commentary battle on Napoleon Total War between myself and Irons Conqueror. Uh, I'm playing as France, my build is uh, 3 old guard, uh, 4 volts, uh, 1 militia, 6 shooty cav, and 4 swiss foot with a general staff. I've got uh, 3 volts one side with 4 swiss foot behind, 1 volt and a militia the other with 3 old guard. And here is uh, Iron's Conqueror's build. He has uh, eight Prussian Fusiliers. Rules on this was just no art. He has, I believe, four foot guards and four musketeers. And he has two cav units and a general staff. So, just going to skip it on a little bit quickly. And um, my right flank is really where I'm going to attack with the old guard. Uh, I've got four cav over here with my uh, vaults behind my militia unit. And basically I'm going to try and get into the side of as many of these fusiliers as possible and get rid of them. I don't want to attack these fusiliers head on as Prussian fusiliers is one of the most um, overpowered units in the game basically. So the fact he's got eight of them they could wreck my entire lines really really quickly. So that's my militia unit. Um, my shooter cover just firing off on the um, outside there. I've got two of them coming around the side. Just basically trying to bunch him up a little bit. The closer I can get his units together bunched up, the uh, easier it's going to be for my old guard to be able to route them away. So here's uh, some of his fusiliers firing off. They're firing off at my militia. And I'm just going to move the rest of my lines up. And as I've seen, he's uh, taken his shot off at my militia units. I've charged a couple of cav units in. And they're going to be heading straight for the fusiliers. So, basically I just want to get rid of these guys. They really are a very good unit. So he's formed some squares up behind. And um, he charges a cav unit into one of my old guard units. Um, if you're going to square units, make sure you square them pretty early. Otherwise they're going to take some losses anyway. Mine was a little bit late. So he got a few hits on some, some male guard. So he's got his squares in behind shooting my cav, but my cav are doing a great job on these uh, fusiliers and it's also giving me an uh, opportunity to move my units forward. I send another couple of cav units in and then I'm going to rush forward with the uh, rest of my uh, old guard and my light unit. Which I believe might have actually routed away. So I charge my cav in and pull them back out. Just basically trying to keep them in squares, just making sure they don't get the first shot off at my old guard. Oh god, a very expensive unit, don't want to waste them away too easily. This is here, firing off now, so these old guards should be able to destroy his flank with a little bit of cav support, so I'm pretty comfortable that I'm going to win this flank pretty easily. So more cav units are going to come in as my old guard are moving up. And they're going to go through, and yet again, I'm just going to try and disturb their lines. Uh, if he falls square, fine. If he doesn't, then that's uh, obviously a lot better. But as you can see there, he tried to form a square, not sure he made it. No, don't think he did make it. But I switched to the other target anyway, knowing that he didn't form a square, so... I got into the musketeer unit next to it, but the original hit was on a foot guard. But my old guards are still firing off. As you can see, my main force is still just sitting around doing nothing at the moment. I don't want to have to commit them until he has to turn his flank. As soon as he has to turn his flank, then I can pull my main force forward and I'll get some easy free shots off. So it's just basically a waiting game here and seeing how long he'll hold out. So his foot guard unit are going to reform up. They're going to start shooting again, but not my light unit are still there. But as it is with uh, my old guards over here, he doesn't really stand too much of a chance. His foot guard unit is going to be shooting at that light unit anyway. He's not even going to be shooting at my um, old guards. So really, he's, he's going to be shooting at the ground most of the time with the lights in front. I've pulled across my other two cav units. This is the last two cav units I've got now. Just to basically finish off this flank, I don't really want to be hanging around here for as l long as I am. I should be done by now. So I'm just going to go in, finish off that uh, foot guard unit, and the other cab's going to go into the other one, I believe. And um, I've gone to the musketeer unit in behind. He does form a square, I think. But he's also got two Prussian fusilier units behind shooting at that cab unit. 
So that cav unit didn't last too long at all, those fusiliers behind. But yeah, again, it allowed my old guard a chance to move up, and we're going to uh, wreck another couple of units by doing that. Here's my second cav unit, which is just going to go in and finish off these foot guards to save a bit of time. So we're firing off there with my old guards as you can see, this is General down there on the flank. And now as you can see, if you look at the mini-map, he's turned his flank. As you can see there, he's gone sideways with a few of his units to counter my units coming in. So now I can move up and I'm going to get some free shots off at his units that have turned. One of my old guard down there just coming back. So as soon as basically your opponent uh, gives you an opportunity to get some free shots off, take it as quickly as you can. Because every kill is so important really in this game. Lots of people waste units away uh, without really thinking about it. But realistically, your line and your lights are really very important units to have around. Cav, I waste cav. Really, uh, like, like they're completely unimportant. I, I don't really hold too much regard for them apart from the fact that obviously they're great at disturbing lines and lights. So uh, Here's a couple of his... Um, Fusilier units, he's extended them in long line, he's going to put them in uh, skirmish formation in a minute, which is going to uh, make them a lot more difficult to hit. But as he's doing that, I managed to get a shot off at him, so I managed to get some uh, decent kills on him before he managed to do that. So over on this flank, my old guard are going to move up again. And now they're supported by a couple of Swiss foot units and an extra light unit, so it's going to give them a, um, a lot more of an advantage on that flank now. So my lights are still moving up. As you notice throughout this game, basically, my opponent just runs away half the time, but... You know, realistically, instead of taking all these lights, he needed a couple of extra cav units just to try and hold me up and do some kind of aggressive move in himself. His build was very defensive with that many lights. There was no kind of um, plan of attack in there at all. But here, as you can see, two light units uh, shooting in, but I've got lights and lines firing at him. He didn't move his lines up behind his lights to counter what I did, so I've got two forms shooting at him. Sorry, telephone. So these units uh, won't take long until they manage to route his lights away, even though it's extended his lines out so more difficult to hit. As you can see, they're quite well spread out, so they are going to waste away quite a bit of ammo. Uh, his cav came in, squared up again, got some shots off. So basically, I'm just going to keep trying to chip away at him as best as possible. Got, uh, I believe, one cavalry unit left, I think, so that's about it. But he's got his fusiliers firing, so I've got to move on in again. And here's his foot guard unit. So my old guard are just going to move up. I believe my last cav unit is going to come rushing through. And we're going to try and get rid of um, some of these fusiliers. So I've hit into that unit. So these cav are uh, doing a good job at getting rid of these fusiliers. He's formed a square up behind with this foot guard unit. But I'm just going to keep moving on the round. As you can see now, I'm routing away his fusiliers. And I'm now getting shots off at his uh, other fusilier units when they're being engaged with the cav, which means they're all stood up so they're a lot easier to hit. So he's going to pull back once again on that flank and uh, try and move out of the way. I'm moving my lights forward, I'm also moving one of my line units out to um, try and have a shot off at his cav. But he sees it and moves his cav out of the way. And my cav down here is still surviving at the moment. They're still doing a good job of getting rid of these fusiliers. So I'm just going to move my old up again while they're not getting shot at. I'll then switch my cav off into the uh, other fusilier unit which is behind the foot guard unit. His foot guard's former square. So that'll be pretty much the end of my cav there now. Uh, my opponent rushes forward his um, line unit at the end there to kind of counter what my movement was. So he tried to get some shots off of my lights. So I just rush forward my um, Swiss foot on that flank to counter that. So he has to move backwards again. So basically at the moment I'm outranging him on the opposite flank. On this flank I've got uh, better numbers. And his units at the moment are just getting shot at being in square and stuff because the cav was still there. But he's coming out of square now. And he's doing it going backwards, which is what you're supposed to do. If you come out of square, always run your units away from the opponent. So that they don't get free shots off you when you're coming out. So he's pulled that unit back. 
As you can see, he's got a couple of units coming back from routing. Uh, a couple of fusilier units, which are going to cause me a bit of problems, I'm sure. But I've got an old guard uh, unit at the bottom there, firing in. My other old guard units run out of uh, ammunition, so they're going to go in for um, melee on these um, Prussian fusiliers. But they're getting shot up by the foot guards, so they're going to die as well. But there was nothing more, really, they could do with no ammunition. The cav charged in again. I formed a square. The foot guard unit moved up, so I'm going to have to come out of square and move away. But as you can see, I go backwards when I come out of square, but unfortunately the foot guard unit still managed to get shot off of me anyway. But I quickly rush up my other line unit. And uh, they're going to get some shots off of that foot guard unit, because in the fact they'd already fired. Down there, I believe this foot guard's also out of ammunition. So this foot guard's going to go in for melee of these musketeer unit. And they'll right away pretty easily. From these foot guards. These foot guards are extremely good in melee. They're, to be honest, extremely good at everything. <laughs> but So his cav come forward. And then he decides to run him back out again. I think he was hoping I was going to form square, but... I would have got a full shot off at them if they'd come, so I wasn't going to do that. So I managed to destroy that musketeer unit with this old guard unit. This old guard unit are then going to carry on through to the fusilier unit behind them. And they're going to hopefully destroy this unit as well. Fusiliers are really poor in melee. And being that the old guard are so good at it, it shouldn't take too long to destroy this unit at all. As you can see, they're routed away already. Now his general unit's going to come in, and he's going to charge my old guard. Couldn't square because I was in melee, so that was the... Um, Pretty much going to be the end of that old guard unit. Uh, General's bodyguard is normally pretty good at um, melee, so they would be able to defeat my old guard pretty comfortably, especially because in fact they're cav. So as you can see, I'm going to switch um, one of my line units out again. And this time I'm going to try and shoot at his lights, I believe. Oh, my lights in front, I'm at the moment outranging him a little bit as well, so he has to keep pulling back or push forward, but as it is, he decides to pull back. So these fusilier units are shooting in, realistically he needs to charge his cav right about now. But I managed to get a shot off at his cav unit, which he didn't seem to move out of the way fast enough. So I took them down to I think about 26, something like that now. So it was a full cav unit, no, which is now down to sort of 26, so it hasn't actually killed anybody. So I've got two lights in front, uh, he's got two lights in the front, I believe they were lights that came back from Routon. He's also got one out on the flank, as you can see there. And he's got his cav unit far side, he's got uh, two lines in the centre, and one foot guard just to the right. I believe that is the majority of his um, army now. Um, he hasn't put his units here in skirmish formation. Basically, if you don't do that, they seem to be a bit more accurate. But obvious reasons, they're a lot easier to hit, because they're stood up in the open. So personally, I'd always put them in skirmish formation, just simply because of the fact that if you can wear out your opponent's ammunition, then that's always a lot better as well because at the end of the battle range really does matter especially if you're playing against players that are prone to kiting so I managed to rout away one of his um, fusilier units and I'm just working on the other one uh, considering the amount of uh, men that I've got left my guy's morale is going to be a lot higher than his he decides to try and rush forward with one of his fusilier units to get into range. I quickly counter it with two of my lines. So we're going to chase him away. As you can see, he pulls back. And uh, one of my uh, light units was out of ammunition, so I charged it forward like a meat shield. As I got some free shots off of my other lights. So looking at it now, it doesn't look too uneven. I've got maybe one or maybe two depleted line units more, but he does have that cav unit, and that cav unit used correctly could be so important to him. Because in the face he's got foot guards as well, all I've got left is um, Swiss foot, I believe. So I'm just going to rush forward on this flank now, try and get rid of this fusilier unit. And I'll rush forward on the other flank, and um, try and see how many men basically I can take out of these fusiliers. As soon as I kill these fusiliers, I know I won. So I just really need to get rid of them as quickly as possible. <coughs> so he rushes some lines up after I manage to route away his fusilier unit. He rushes a couple of lines up to try and take on my lights. I'm just going to pull my lights back before they get into shooting range. On this flank, you can see we, um, I got some free shots off his lights, so they were trying to run away from me. So that did a good job. I've managed to flank out now with one of my line units, which is uh, very important, really. Uh, flanking in this game is 
vital, basically, being able to get two shots on one unit, two lines firing on one unit, while he's shooting at one. So it's it's, it's, it's very important to be able to get that done. Um, I've got a little light unit spread out very, very thinly in front of these two lines. Um, my opponent's trying to just shoot this light unit. He screws up, and I manage to get a shot off at him. But the other unit does manage to do it correctly, so I have to adjust this line unit ever so slightly and move forward so they can fire. And over on this flank I've been shooting at his lights and we've managed to get rid of them. I was going to charge my general through, I, um, I thought it was going to be worthwhile doing it, but looking at the amount when they've got one decent volley off at my general, that had been it, and I could have quite easily lost this game if I'd lost my general now. So I decided to hold on just a little bit longer with him. I managed to route away that musketeer unit. As you can see now, the balance of power has completely changed. If you look at the bar at the bottom as well, it's saying I'm hugely uh, in control now, which I am basically. I've got uh, a lot of line units over to what he's got, so it shouldn't be too difficult to destroy him. I can just literally rush up and start firing off. Now, this is a little rude, what happens next. A general and general fight, he had uh, 10 men, I believe I had 17. He now I believe has 5 men, and I have 17. And I decided to charge into his foot guard unit. Uh, here I've just moved my line and my lights up, and they're going to try and wreck this unit as quickly as possible. He's going to ca charge his cabin, and I'm just going to form square. As you can see there, my general died. And he didn't form square with his line or anything. I still got loads of men left in that general staff unit, and it just got fucked really. Just a lucky shot, and you just killed my general. So, so now I've got a couple of line units firing in. I've ordered clicked attack orders on the general, so just both going to target the general. Uh, over here, these uh, I didn't bother forming a square with this unit. There was absolutely no point doing it. With the uh, morale on the Lancers being so low, the fact they had so few men and the fact I was still shooting at them, I didn't really see the point. I think I lost about 15 men, but I managed to kill the Lancer unit off. So I didn't really see the point in doing that. But that was the end of the battle. That was a good game to my opponent. Thank you very much for playing, Iron's Conqueror. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and check out my other channels list. Also a 2v2 uh, Napoleon Total War Tournament at TWEplays.com. Please go check that out. Thank you very much guys and goodbye.